Hello everyone. Let's understand how to create a checkpoints programmatically in this video. So let's have a quick recap how checkpoints are performed actually. It performed into two steps. The first one is it will fetch the value of property from application. Okay. And the second step it it will compare the expected and the actual value. Okay, so we are going to perform these two steps from a program. Okay, so for the first step, we will use a get RO property method. Okay, that we have already seen. And to compare the expected and the actual value, we will use if condition. Okay, let's see how we can do it from the code. So we are going to use this uh, login.html page. This is a simple application. It contains of two edit boxes and a button. Okay. So I have a code. Basically what this code is doing. It is inserting the value test into this password and verifying the enter. Actually checkpoint. So let's have uh, the checkpoint properties. So if you go to the checkpoint properties, what it is verifying, it is verifying a name. Okay its name should be enter okay so let's do it from a program so we'll not use this check checkpoint let's comment it okay so we will get the name from into this variable okay let's use this object web button okay and we will use get arrow property and what property name okay now checkpoint does what checkpoint does it will verify the value so we will put it into the if condition so what we will check if where name is equals to what enter then our test case should pass okay so let's put it into the message box and pass okay else it should be fail okay now let's say if i execute this code See, it returns the value pass. Why? Because the name of this button is here. It is enter. That's why it passed. Okay. Now, let's say if I change it as enter 1, it should fail. Why? Because the name of this button is enter. Okay. You can generalize this as a method we, we can create a generic method that will compare for any property let's say we will create one method verify property okay it will take a parameter as object then property name and maybe the value let's say prop value okay then using the object that is passed into the parameter we will fetch the value how let's take it into the parameter variable obj dot we will use get ro property okay property and the property name should be this okay now we will compare this get value from our expected value okay if it is equals to the expected value it will return you true otherwise it will return you false okay so now this is a generic function that can be used to verify the checkpoints on any object now instead of using this this statement we will use a generic method okay we'll take the value in a, our flag variable okay now we will use a verify property and here the first is object so here our object is this enter button actually so pass this as your first parameter here the second is property name the name of the property is actually name okay and the third its expected value should be enter okay so here instead of using this you can use this now here you will pass if your flag okay is true then the test case must pass otherwise it should fail okay now so in this manner using a get arrow property and if condition you can apply a checkpoints through a program that's all about checkpoints programmatically
Thank you.